What's up everybody? I have a very important topic to talk to you guys about today. Um, and that is flipping hooks. It's with your soft plastics. If you guys follow me, you know I spent a lot of time on the water with youth and high school anglers and stuff. And there's so many of them that get in my boat that are trying to flip with an EWG hook. And I'm gonna show you guys more of the physics behind these hooks. And that'll help you be more methodical about the hooks that you choose in the future. Number one, there's a, you know, Gamagatsu carries a wide variety of hooks, guys, and they all have their place. Um, and, and you need to understand the physics of these hooks and why they do what they do in order to make you more successful and put the odds in your favor so you will land more fish. So guys, you need to pay attention to this, especially if you're flipping with an EWG hook or you're having issues uh, with landing fish and hookup ratio because this is something important that you need to pay attention to. Um, first of all, I always preach, guys, be methodical about any time you change something, whether it be a knot or, you know, your hook type or a technique. Be methodical about it and understand what you're working with, um, and especially when it comes to hooks because not all hooks are created equal. They all have their advantages and they all have disadvantages as, as well. So making sure you select the right hook is gonna be very important. Now, first of all, like I said, a lot of, I see a lot of you flipping with EWG hooks and I want you guys to understand something about an EWG hook. It's extra wide gap and if you notice the hook point is level with the eye, that's where your bait rests right there. Now an EWG hook is good for making sure that a soft plastic stays straight on there but it has a serious disadvantage if you're trying to flip with it, especially in heavy cover and tight cover. Um, you know, th there's a simple test you can do, guys, and there's a reason. If you flip with an EWG hook, you'll realize that, you'll notice that you're hooking a lot of fish more on the outside of the mouth, more towards the lip, the front of the mouth. You skin hook fish on the outside of the mouth sometimes. You do not get a consistent hook penetration through the top of the mouth and that's where you want it. And there's a reason for that. It's because because this because this hook is parallel or kind of even with that hook guy, if you if you put your if you put your hand around this hook and you pull it like you're gonna hook set, you'll notice that hook will slip until it finds a piece of your hand. Again, that's the reason why you're skin hooking fish and that's the reason why you're hooking them more on the outside of the mouth and that's not where you want it. You notice this hook needs to slip before it grabs something. Keep that in mind. Um, and there's a, that's the reason why this fish, and if you do, you have them on the outside of the mouth and you're skin hooking them, guys, your, your percentage of landing that fish goes down drastically. Now, my preferred flipping hook is just, this is just a standard Gamagatsu round bend offset hook. If you do the same thing with this and wrap your hand around it, as soon as I wrap my hand, my hand around it, I'm already feeling the hook penetration. No slippage, immediate hook set penetration. That's why with this hook, you're hooking them a little deeper and it's coming through the top of the mouth like that. Remember that EWG, it needs to slip. That's why um, the fish aren't necessarily hooked that good. They're hooked all over the mouth. They're not, not a whole lot of them are through the top of the mouth. It's because of that, it needs to slip. It kind of works the same way if you guys saltwater fish or circle hook. Um, you know, there's a re you don't want to penetrate the big offshore fish through the top of the mouth because it's, it's, it's just straight bone and you never can. So it needs to slip through that fish's mouth to catch him on the side. EWG work, EWG and that style of hook kind of works the same way. So remember that. Um, and so there's a lot of slippage. And if you do, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you about, you know, EWG does, has its, does have its place, you know, especially for like a weightless fluke or behind a Carolina rig where it's really important that that bait stays extremely straight. And when, they, when, you're, when you're setting the hook on that fish, you want, you want on an EWG, uh, EWG style fish, you want that fish to be more away from you and up. That way, when you are setting the hook on this fish, the fish is kind of pointing towards you that way you, when you do pull, you have something for that fish to grab. Instead, if the fish is pointing this way, this hook can slide almost all the way out on you. Pay attention to that, guys. And now, again, the standard round bend hook offset right here. Again, hook point penetration. It is above the eye, above that line tie. And when that fish has it, it's immediate, it's immediate hook point penetration. No slippage in this at all. Guys, pay attention to that. It's very, very important. Like I said, EWGs have their place. Again, a Carolina rig or a weightless fluke or something that's higher in the water column and more of straight, 
you know, straight in front of you and you, most of the time, that type of presentation, the fish come up behind it and eat it and the fish is facing you. So when you do pull, you, you, it's, it, it's gonna eventually catch something and you can hook that fish. And make sure, guys, very important with an EWG, when you do throw it like that, you wanna do a tight line hook set. In other words, reel up to the fish when you feel the fish lean into them and not a snap hook set because again, this hook will initially slip most of the time. So you don't want to just yank, the, yank this thing straight from the fish. Keep that in mind. Hook point penetration is absolutely key. Now, another one, this is another, that, that style of hook, that the line uh, that your hook is, 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 um, is parallel with your line tie right here. Now, this is, a, this is a long shank hook, and I like this for like a big worm, a 10 and a half inch on up for that. Again, you have, but this is a longer hook shank, and if you put your hand around this one, because there's so much wider of a gap between there, you can get almost that immediate hook point penetration. So these, like again, they have their place, and this is one that, again, if I'm fishing deep, big worm and stuff like that, where I have the body to be able to put this thing in, because I can't really flip this with a creature bait, because it won't fit on here, it's too long. But the, the, the longer space in here allows you to get almost immediately immediate hook point penetration. So it has their place, guys. And the last one, of course, is a straight shank hook, like a heavy cover hook. Now, some guys flip with this, um, and, 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 that, and that's just a matter of opinion, but it's got a lot of hook point penetration, and of course, it's immediate hook point penetration. I prefer the offset round bend just simply because the, the soft plastics um, stay in it a little bit better and last a little bit longer. And I do go to these, especially when I punch. And the main reason being, you've got maximum hook point penetration. And when you're punching heavy cover and that bait goes down there, you really don't know where that fish is coming from. He could come from up, he could come from down and get it. And when he grabs it, a lot of times he's already moving another direction. You don't know which way that fish is going, whether it be left, right, up, down, it's really hard to judge that. So in that situation, you want maximum hook point penetration because no matter where that fish is going, um, you, there's gonna be no slippage of this, um, whether where the bait's at in that fish's mouth. And you'll notice a lot of times punching, you're, you're, you're hooking fish in the bottom of the mouth or on the side. That's simply, that's simply because the fish a lot of times will grab it and go to one side or the other before you fill him and set the hook on it. But again, another one, don't snap set this hook as well. You know, when I'm punching with this hook, I like to reel down to it, tight line it, and lean back on the fish. Guys, be methodical about your hook selection and anytime you're changing something. Again, if you're flipping with an EWG hook, you know what I'm talking about, about, about skin hooking fish. You hook them towards the outside of the mouth. And when you get that consistently, guys, your, your percentage of landing that fish goes down dramatically. Guys, keep that in mind. Hook point exposure is key. And guys, and the number one um, rule or the number one, or, you know, the, 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 the most important thing about putting a fish in the boat is first off is hook set, hook point penetration. If you don't get good hook point penetration into that fish, your chances of landing him goes way down. So guys, if you're flipping with an EWG hook, you might want to think about what I just said a little bit and understand the physics of the hook and the reason why different hooks are made for different applications. So guys, Hope this helps. Um, that's the great thing about bass fishing is we all have opinions and, um, and a lot of it is opinion, but, but if you understand the physics part of it, the physics part of it is not opinion, that's fact. And, and, that's, and that's, easily, uh, that's easy to see, it's easy to notice, and it's something you absolutely need to pay attention to. Um, all of these hooks, guys, like I said, they have their place. You can get them all at Gamagatsu. You, you have all different types of EWGs, gaps, round bends. Um, um, your straight shank hooks, your heavy cover hooks, um, you can get them all there, guys, but I hope this helps, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I hope this helps you guys put a lot more fish in the boat. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.